Oh my gosh, camera is on. I am filming. <gasps> this is so exciting. I feel like there's so much I need to catch you guys up on. I went to Mexico with the Benefit Canada team, which was super, super fun. We went to the Banyan Tree Mayacoba Resort. 10 out of 10. 11 out of 10, if I could rate it that way. It's the best experience. It was incredible. You can check in some pictures on my Instagram if you're interested. I haven't uploaded for a little while, too, because I just wanted to take the time to just wrap up the end of the year with family and just take some time off of social. And oh my gosh, I feel so re-energized. I'm excited to start the year with a positive video talking about my best products 2017. Here we go. Hello everyone! I'm here today to share with you guys my best of the 2017 products from the drugstore and stay tuned I will be doing one on my high-end products as well for you guys and if you're interested in knowing how I use all these products go and check out my Instagram I will put a link in the info bar for you guys if you are interested I did a whole tutorial using all of the products I'm going to mention today to create this look right here I thought that would be kind of a fun way to do it to show you guys how to use the products but also take some time to like chit chat with you guys about the products and why I like them and all that fun stuff give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see more of these best of 2017 if you have any suggestions for future videos that you want to see leave them in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Tuesday Thursday and Sunday and without further ado let's get into this so I guess I'll start with the face products and I'll work my way up to the eyes does that make sense I don't know <laughs> you can't answer me so starting with my favorite primer it has to be this one by covergirl and Olay this is their simply ageless foundation primer and I find myself continually reaching for this whenever I want to have that really good skin day and it just makes all the difference it smooths out everything it blurs out any large pores any fine lines and it just makes my skin look amazing this has worked well for me under a whole bunch of different foundations high-end and drugstore it's worked really well also when blended with a liquid highlight if I want more of like a dewy complexion to the skin <laughs> not even dewy like full-on glow if you're gonna mix in a highlight you're gonna go big or go home you know what I'm saying but this has been awesome definitely hands down my favorite next up is a color correct and I would say probably the one that I reached for the most from the drugstore is by Revlon. This is their Photo Ready Color Correcting Pen. And this is their, what shade is this? Salmon? Pink? This is what I use when I need to have three cups of coffee because I have giant under eye circles. I like it because it's not too pink, not too salmon, not too orange, and it just blends really nicely underneath the eyes and I don't have to overcompensate by adding more concealer to kind of correct some of the color that's been added. But it still cancels out those bluey purple tones really, really nicely and it works well under a whole bunch of different concealers really enjoy this. And for concealer, I actually have two different favorites that I want to talk about. One is more of a medium coverage and the other one is full coverage. So for the medium coverage one, I really like this one by um, L'Oreal. It's their Infallible Pro Glow Concealer. I just like the fact that <laughs> I'm just dropping it all over the floor. It's fine. First of all, I really like the applicator. It's a bit of elongated one. It's much flatter and I find that it sweeps the products underneath the eyes or wherever I need to apply it really, really nicely. And it doesn't add too much product. It's a nice thinner formula and consistency but I feel like it still gives a good amount of coverage. It's definitely medium. It's definitely buildable. I like that it has more of a neutral undertone, at least in the ones that I have tried. This is classic ivory. It's not too pink. It's not too yellow. So it works really well for my skin tone. And I just really enjoyed this one. And then the other favorite is by Physicians Formula. This is their Insta Ready Full Coverage Concealer. This is a little bit of a thicker consistency than say like the Pro Glow, but it covers everything beautifully. It's not too heavy and thick. And like, I feel like it's, you know, just gonna create crease underneath my eyes, you know, and it works really, really well. The only downside to this is I find that the pump gets really, really messy. So as you can see right here, oh, but just sometimes I find like it gets really stuck and I have to like turn it to get it to work properly. I don't know if it's just this one or if anyone else has had those issues, but the product is so good that I put up with it because I think it's a really good concealer. Next up, we're going to talk about foundation. And again, I have two favorites because apparently I can't make up my mind. And the first one is by Wet n Wild. It is their photo focus foundation. As you guys have seen, if you watch my videos over the course of the last year, I've been using this one a lot and I find it works really well. This gives a medium coverage, but it is definitely buildable. It looks really good on the skin. It doesn't crease at all. So I've been enjoying this one a lot. The other one, I really like the formula, but it's, it, it oxidizes, which is the only part I don't like. If it had a lighter shade, I would really like this. It'd be number one, 10 out of 10, would love it but that's the only downside, but I do want to mention it because I think that the formula is really, really good. It's the CoverGirl Healthy Elixir Foundation. I really, really like this one, and I've talked about it a lot, and I'm sort of, I've always been on the fence about it because I find that their lightest shade 
isn't light enough for me. So if you find a shade that works for you, I think it's a great foundation. It dries down again really well. It doesn't settle. It has more of a higher coverage and I find it's a little bit longer lasting than the Wet n Wild one is. This one right here is their lightest shade, which is 605. So I don't know, maybe just introduce the 600. I'm just saying. But overall, I've really enjoyed both of these drugstore foundations. Next up is blush and I'm obsessed with this blush. It is so beautiful. It is the Physicians Formula Butter Blush and this is in the shade Vintage Rouge. Vintage Rouge? Did I just say that? No, I did. Okay, it is Vintage Rouge. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't saying the French. 1A, it smells like a tropical vacation. But even outside of that, this color is stunning. It blends out so smoothly on the skin. I have been obsessed with this since I started using it. It is such a pretty blush. And next up is my favorite powder. This is the Cody Airspun. You guys saw when I first started using this, I think it was from my um, testing out a beauty guru's favorites. I think this was Tati's favorite. I fell in love with it. The formula is amazing. The scent is like a little off putting um, and that's only because I didn't buy the unscented one. Apparently there's an unscented one but like I have so much product still to go through so we gonna finish this one off first. It's a nice finely milled translucent powder and I find that it works really well for baking but also just if you want to kind of sweep it all over your skin to set everything it works really well for that purpose as well. You get a ton of powder in here like I'm not I feel like I'm not even close to finishing this and I use it all the time. Now jumping back over to bronzer I have to say the one that I definitely use the most in 2017 and I mentioned it last year so I am gonna mention another product but the one that I use the most has to be the physicians formula butter bronzer like look how close I am to finishing it guys do you know how rare that is for me I feel like because of what I do on YouTube I'm constantly testing out new products and so it's really rare for me to hit pan on a product so that's how you know it's good another one that I also enjoy it has more of a glowy finish though is by Milani this is their baked bronzer it didn't use this one as much because this one I feel like is a little bit more versatile for me because it has a matte finish it just gives a nice very subtle sheen and I really like how it looks on the skin, especially in the summertime. It is beautiful. Great, great product. Next up is my favorite highlight of 2017, and the packaging is a little bit broken because Chris busted it up. And if you're wondering why, go and check out the video that I did with Adeline um, closer to Christmas time. And basically in that video, Chris tore apart a whole bunch of makeup and duct taped it up to see if Adeline and I could tell in application whether a product was drugstore or high-end. It was such a fun video. Go and check that out if you're interested. But it is a little bit like messed up because of that. But it's fine. This is the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlight in Molten Gold. Like, look at that reflect. Oh, so pretty. I've just found this shade to be really flattering on a whole bunch of different skin tones. I thought it was honestly going to be too gold on me. Like, looking at that, I was like, I don't know. But when it reflects, like, it's very pale, almost champagne-y. It's really creamy, and it gives you some nice bling factor, which I really, really enjoy. And lastly for the face is my favorite setting spray, and I cannot find it anywhere, so I'm going to put a picture on the screen for you guys but it is the NYX skin finish it's their dewy one it's a really good one it gives a nice dewiness to the skin without being really oily it's not breaking up my makeup in any way I believe I actually talked about it in my NYX buyer buy that I did back in December where I talked about my favorite products from NYX and my least favorite products from NYX so you can go and check that out if you're interested but it's definitely my favorite setting spray of 2017 and now into my favorite eye products we're almost there guys um for eyeshadows this will come as no surprise to you guys it is more of like an end of 2017 favorite but this is it is the product that I love the most of everything that I tried in 2017 and it is the new eyeshadow palettes These are from wet and wild This is their quad and hooked on vinyl and then this one is their new formula for comfort zone I really like it because it has these two transition shades down here, which I personally really like when I'm doing my makeup I like having more of a matte finish into the crease and then playing around with some of the shimmery shades some darker shades some lighter shades on the lids and in the inner corner so I'm wearing shades from both of these palettes today so you can go and check out how I did this look on Instagram if you're interested. I think they have five different palettes like this. One is an exact dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Modern Renaissance palette which is crazy. Did a whole video on that showing you guys half the face done in the Wet n Wild versus ABH so you can check that out if you're interested but these are really good palettes and I found they work really well. They blend out smoothly. I would say not as smoothly as ABH but considering the price difference definitely worth it in my opinion and I can get a lot of great looks from these. Now into eyeliner. I have two different favorites. One is more of an end of 2017 favorite, but I want to include it because I love it and it is the best that I have tried in 2017. It is the L'Oreal Infallible Long Wear Eye Pencil. This is their black
black one. I find this stuff does not transfer at all. If I tight line, it's going to stay put. It doesn't transfer to the lower waterline. It is amazing. The other one that I really love is by Annabelle. This is their waterline coal eyeliner in the shade Champagne. This one, again, has a lot of really great staying power. I've used it for, I think, majority. I think I discovered it in the summertime, and I've been testing it out. Really, really like this one. You can see it right there on the skin. It shows up really nicely on the lower waterline for me. I love the way that it looks and just makes my eyes look a lot larger. Great, great product. For mascara for me, it is a hands-down winner to the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I love this mascara. It gives such a beautiful, like, look at my lashes right now. It's crazy. I actually did a side-by-side -side comparison testing this against the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara because it looks very similar to it, even in the actual brush itself. And so I did a whole day test, and even by the end of the day, this one looked way better. I love that you can build it to create big, thick, voluminous, black, fluffy lashes, you know? And it just, it, this is like everything that I look for in a mascara. For drugstore brows at the beginning of the year, I really liked the Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Crayon. This is a really nice, very thin pencil so if you like to draw in those like little hairs I found that this worked really well it had more of an ashy undertone which I also really appreciate a more recent favorite of mine but I wanted to include it is by Wet n Wild this is their retractable brow pencil this is a really good dupe for the ABH brow definer and so it has this little more of a triangular shaped tip um, here and then it has obviously the uh, spoolie at the other end. It just walks that line really perfectly for me on uh, not being too hard of a formula and not too soft either, which is why I really like it. And uh, yeah, it does a good job, makes my brows look good. I like it. And then what am I missing? Lips and oh eyeshadow primer okay <laughs> sorry we have to go back a bit this is the essence i love color intensifying eye primer this is a great primer and it's ridiculously cheap which is amazing and it does a great job at not only intensifying the colors that you're going to choose but keeping everything locked on the lid all day it is such a good one not good for glitter glitter you need like a like a separate like a whole separate thing because it will flake under your eye immediately it has a little bit of a color to it which i personally like because it's going to cover up any veininess or discoloration on my lids. It helps my eyeshadow to go on nice and smoothly. It doesn't go on um, like broken and patchy, which I find is the case for some eyeshadow primers that don't work really well for me. Hence why I'm not mentioning them today. But this one is a great one and is a really good price point. And then lastly for the lips. Is anyone surprised at all that it's these ones? No? Didn't think so. These are the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I'm obsessed with these guys. I discovered these, I believe, back in the summertime, and I did a whole video swatching them all for you guys because I was that obsessed with them. I wore this shade right here, Nudist. I wore this one to the zoo with my kids, and we were kind of walking around. It was really, really hot out, and this did not budge did not budge. I'm wearing the shade Cowboy on my lips today, but I love all of them. I've had a great experience with every single one of them. They do not transfer all day long, and they don't even have like, you know you get the ring on the inside with a lot of liquid lipsticks? This you don't get that with, like at all. I also like that they're comfortable all day. I find with a lot of liquid lipsticks, they're really over drying on the lips, and then I have to put a lip balm on, and then they immediately smudge, obviously, and it's just like, whole big thing I don't want to deal with. So these are nice in that they feel nice on my lips all day. They do have a slight, like a slight tackiness to them, but I don't personally find it to be offensive or annoying at all in any way. Like you can see, like it's not like a huge thing at all, um, but that makes them comfortable. And yeah, these are my go-to liquid lipsticks. I love them. And that's everything for this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you like these whole best of 2017 type videos. And if you wanna see a full tutorial on how I did this look, check it out on Instagram if you are interested. And don't forget to subscribe over there. And that is everything. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing start to 2018 and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you girls. Mwah.